the Agen Man family held a special get-together, to honor and celebrate the life of Raphael John Agen Man, the real name of Mark. The celebration at the La Salle Green Hills in San Juan City is a, happy happy, event after Mark's passing away on September 1st because of liver cancer. Aside from the Agen Man family, hyphen hyphen Mark's kids Gabby Agen Man, Sid Lesero, Andy Agen Man and Stevie Agen Man, wife Mara Carr, siblings Michael and Sherry, parents Eddie Mason and Rosemary Jill, and nephews Ryan and Jeff, hyphen hyphen Mark's friends from the showbiz industry were also present for the celebration of his colorful life. Those who attended the memorial were Terso Cruz III, Philip Salvador, Ding Dong Dantes, Rez Cortez, Paolo Contes, Anquinetta Tom Dadis, and Doirane, Joey Marquez, Jolina Magdangle at Mark Escuta, Jaya, Ronnie Lazaro, Nani at Chamain Bune Camino, Gardo Versazad, Tessie Tomas, Angelica de la Cruz, Odette Khan, Leo Martinez, and GMA executive Lila Beth Rassonable. From morning until afternoon, Governor Vilma Santos, Gretchen Barreto, Angel Luxon, Jose Mari Chan, Gary Lissing, Pilita Cairales, Rio Luxon, Eric Gonzalez, Andrea Torres, Jackie Aquino, Joanne Baskin, Marjorie Barreto and Lalit Solis were seen at the memorial. The memorial was held for one day only, Michael said, because that was what Mark requested. He also said that his brother requested for his ashes to be scattered at Montemar Beach in Bataan because that's the HMN family's favorite beach. A portion of his ashes were also put in vials for the HMN family. They can use the vials as pendants they can wear on their necklaces. The rest, of course, were left with Marakar. The Agen Man family requested that there will be no video or picture taken inside the chapel. In the middle of the chapel, Mark's ashes were placed in a square, Matt Goldern. There were two video walls showing Mark's pictures with his family and friends from showbiz. Michael de Mesa, the brother of Mark Jill, said the family followed all of Mark's last wishes, including that there should be no wake and no eulogies and for his body to be cremated right away.